Hello, this is Tim Campso with TBC Action Coach of Indiana with our Business Spotlight series. The purpose is to interview local business owners and promote them through our social channels and email database, as well as provide them coaching. This is a free service we're doing because if every small business is strong, then the economy is strong. Today, I have the pleasure of talking with Voss. Welcome, Voss. It's great to have you on the program today. Thank you so much, Tim, for having me today. Well, let's start with having you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your story. Of course. So my name is Vasantan Ramakrishnan, but most people here call me Vas. So I'm just short for Vas. Um, I'm the founder and president of Vasix Labs. Um, so Vasix Labs is an R&D organization focused on nonprofit research and nonprofit projects that aim to impact humanity in one way or the other. So the lab is pretty much just focused very much on um, either one aspect of human life needs to be improved. So we kind of keep the focus on the impact. And since I have a, an extensive engineering background, so I have a master's degree from Purdue. So keeping my engineering background and the impact, so we are able to bring in um, impact projects and just be able to like you know, make improvements to humans. Fantastic. So tell us, who do you serve? Who's your, your best customer or what we call a target audience? Okay, so my target audience would just be businesses. So Vasix Lab is a B2B company, meaning we serve other companies. So some of the projects we did earlier were all consulting projects for other engineering companies. And then we kind of slowly moved on to in-house research where we looked at potential areas where we can research. So one of the instances might be artificial intelligence. You know, artificial intelligence is an area that's very popular and it's gone to impact almost every single industry, you know? So those kind of things are some of the things that we work on. So we have uh, consulting projects and in-house R&D projects. Got it. So if I was to ask you to give us your 60 second commercial for your business, what would you say? Okay, so my 60 second, 60 second commercial would again, just be focused on the impact. Um, I, my company is a, very much focused on the impact that we would create. So keeping the money part aside, we want to improve humanity as a whole by um, doing impact engineering projects and then uh, improving everything that's around us because we believe that um, the earth is beautiful and then we want to create as much of an impact in the world as we can. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. So, um, Tell us what's been the greatest impact that COVID has had on your business over the past year. Okay, so I personally am a very friendly person. I was someone who would go out all day uh, meeting people, you know, meeting clients. And it was a very outdoor business, let's say, you know, with consulting, of course, because I, I involved a lot of travel. But when COVID hit, it was, um, everything really changed actually, because we were working out of the university, mm -hmm. um, when I, which I graduated. So I basically just took a space in the university's lab and I was operating out of, uh, you know, just college students and interns, which we, uh, you know, we kind of were working with. But then when COVID hit, the university closed and then students were no more available for us to work with. And some of the interns that we had at that time were also not, um, you know, some of them got COVID, some of them had family issues, financial issues and all of that. And it, it did a huge dent and for almost about, three to four months, I think I was the only one in the lab working on all the projects. And of course our clients had a lot of requirements and even uh, nothing would stop because of COVID. So I was literally running around, I think one person just trying to handle everything. It was really hard. But um, eventually though, once I started picking up how COVID was going to affect my business, I started taking everything online and I started talking to people online and then I started hiring online through LinkedIn. LinkedIn was a blessing. Um, and then I think it got a little better, I think, you know, with a lot of people being able to reach out to a lot of people online and having the team working, even though it's a smaller team than what we used to have before, it kind of worked out. That's great. That's awesome. it's great to hear that you were able to, to pivot and, and implement some changes in your business and to allow you to continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. So tell me, here's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes have you made along the way that you'd be willing to share so that other entrepreneurs can learn from your experience? Okay. So one of the biggest mistakes that I did was actually jumping into things without thinking a lot about what other consequences that may have. So 
I was someone who was super excited when I was in college and that's when I started the lab. Um, I think it was about uh, August of 2018 when I started the lab. And at that point though, of course, I was not really used to actually meeting business people. So whenever I would get a proposal for a project, I would not even look at the project. For me at that point in time, okay, I got a project and that's all I was caring about. So I would just jump right in without considering a lot of things that needed to be considered. And I run into either issues in the form of delays or I don't have the necessary expertise or I sometimes I even end up realizing that's not really what my lab should be working on. You know, we should be having priorities on other things. So I think my biggest takeaway from that is even though something might seem like the best thing for you to do, I think you should think it through, think it from every perspective that you can think of, and then make sure that that's something that you want to be doing. So um, keeping it aligned with your mission and goal, I think that's the most important thing that I'd missed in the uh, past, but something that I really want to focus on. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. So second last question here. Um, mm -hmm. We've got your email and website and phone number to include when we post this. But is there anything else that you that we should add? Any are you running any types of offers, or how can people find out more about um, the way that you can help them? Okay, so we are very active on LinkedIn. We post stuff. I post my uh, personal account, and then some of my directors and all that they post from uh, the LinkedIn account. We have not been able to get into Facebook much, but um, not so much of an offer. But what we do is the first consulting is always free. Okay. So when we either get into the in-person visit or we can do zoom calls or skype calls or anything and the first consulting is always free and if we find that our fit is not good we always do not charge them so that's that's kind of something that we're running on yeah fantastic uh, that's a great offer so last question here Voss. tell me what's been most inspiring to you during all the craziness of the past year okay so some of the most inspiring things i would say is people's behavior kind of changing to COVID and how that change kind of uh, evolved, I think, because when first COVID hit, everybody was just clueless. Nobody was knowing what to do. For a lot of people, I think they thought it was the end. They thought, okay, everything is just, everything that we know of civilization has just gone down. We don't have anything anymore. But then as we went through the pandemic, as we went through COVID, we started developing solutions. We started having answers to a lot of things. And looking at how people have adapted today to every single thing, it's really amazing, I think. So I learned a lot from that actually. Even though it might be a global issue, there's always an answer to everything. Every question has an answer. We just gotta find it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, so that concludes our interview. For those listening, if uh, you heard something that you think might be helpful for your business, please reach out. Uh, I'll, again, I'll include the contact information in this post so that you can reach out to Voss. Make sure that uh, you take advantage of that uh, free uh, um, initial consultation session that, uh, that he offered. Uh, make, you know, take advantage of that. Free is always awesome. So, so make sure that you reach out to him. If you've heard anything during this uh, interview that you're struggling with in your business, then, and you'd like a, just a, a second set of eyes or ears, um, I'm also available to jump on a free call and, and talk you through that, uh, that challenge and, and that issue. So please take advantage of that uh, also. Boss, it's been a pleasure uh, learning about you and your business today, and I wish you tremendous success, my friend. Likewise. Thank you so much for having me today, Jim. All right. Have a great day. You too.